Hudson Taylor's Choice Sayings, Chapter 7, God's Faithfulness. O oh, beloved friends, if there is a lo living God, faithful and true, let us hold His faithfulness. If there is an eternity of bliss, of reward for those who love Him, if He will verily withhold no good thing from those who walk uprightly, let us hold God's faithfulness and walk worthy of Him. Holding His faithfulness, we may face with calm and sober, but confident assurance of victory every difficulty and danger. We may count on grace for the work, on injury aid, on needful uh, facilities, and on ultimate success. Let us not give Him a partial trust, but daily, hourly serve Him, holding God's faithfulness. How many Christians go mourning and lose joy, strength, and opportunities of helping others because they do not hold God's faithfulness? All God's giants have been weak men who did great things for God because they reckoned on His being with them. What should we think of the merchant who, though his clerk worked well, did not pay him any wages? Or what should we think of the mistress who took her servant's labor and did not supply her with her board? Ought we to expect less of our God and our Father? How glad one is now, not only to know, with, with dear Miss Habigail, that, quote, they who trust him wholly find him wholly true, unquote, but also that when we fail to trust fully, he still remains unchangingly faithful. He is wholly true whether we trust or not. The man who holds God's faith will dare to obey him, however in Pollock it may appear. Abraham held God's faith and offered up Isaac, accounting that God was able to raise him up. Moses held God's faith and led the millions of Israel into the waste howling wilderness. If we believe not, he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. But oh, how we dishonor our Lord whenever we fail to trust Him, and what peace, blessing, and triumph we lose in thus sinning against the faithful one. May we never again presume in anything to doubt Him. How easy it is with money in the pocket and food in the cupboard to think that one has faith in God. But oh, when our faith fails, His faithfulness stands short. Want of trust is at the root of almost all our sins and all our weaknesses. And how shall we escape from it but by looking to Him and observing His faithfulness? As in terrestrial things, a falling object may continue to fall unless arrested. So the consequences of man's sin must have gone on forever and forever had no deliverer been found. But God commendeth his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. How inconsistent belief always is. None of the proceedings of God are arbitrary. All the acts and all the requirements of perfect wisdom and of perfect goodness must of necessity be wise and good. We are required to do well, because well-doing is the best thing for ourselves and the best thing for all others and brings most glory to God.